Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at whether you should go for the Nike Apple Watch or a regular Apple Watch. So, I made a whole in-depth video about which case material and everything that you would want to get and if the cellular connectivity may or may not be worth it for you. So, you can check that out over here or here, whichever side it's on. Um, so, ever since Apple released the Nike Apple Watches back in... 2017 with the release of the iPhone 10, I have gotten the Nike Apple Watch over the regular Apple Watch. Now, they are the same price, same size, same cellular GPS, and same colors except for gold, but personally, I've never been a fan of gold in my, the recent years as they always keep changing up the gold and I like how everything has some fluidity and matches from my MacBook to my iPhone to my watch. It's just all so nice to have it all one color. So, every year I always get the Nike Apple Watch because of the Nike Apple Watch faces. So now that's really the only difference in the Apple Watches other than the bands you get right out of the box. And if you're like me who has multiple Apple Watch bands already, you don't need you don't need more of the same ones. Which is why the Nike ones, there's always different colors as well as with the regular ones. But I really like with the Nike ones how it also allows your wrist to be breathable and you get them out of the box instead of having to pay for them separately. Which is pretty cool. And you also get special reflective bands if you make that option too. While you can purchase them separately, you do get them out of the box instead of having to pay extra for them. Which is cool that you get them right out of the box. And also now, how Apple lets you customize it with the Series 5 Apple Watches. You can pick your band and your watch and all of that to your liking and get it right out of the box instead of having to buy a new, uh, uh, buy that band separately, which is cool. So you can download the Nike Run Club app onto a regular Apple Watch and get the Nike Plus bands, but you won't get the faces, which is mainly what sells me. So currently... I have the Nike uh, Hybrid Apple Watch face, and I really like it, as it shows me everything I need to know, all while maintaining that nice Nike look, and as well as Apple look, without making it look like, oh, it's like not an Apple Watch or anything, which is cool. And it only comes in aluminum, which if you are looking to get a more expensive version, you would most like, I would say, go, and you are willing to spend the money on it, it, you could get the other ones. But for most people who are going to be getting an aluminum, it makes sense to go for the Nike Plus because it's the same price as the regular one with some extra watch faces. And especially now, how you can customize your Nike band out of the box as well as your regular band, it's cool to see the different color combinations and everything that Apple comes out with. As every season they come out with new colors, or if not every other season, like this was a new color that came out back in March, as well as some of my other bands, which are cool that Apple drops them throughout the year, so you can always change it up and you're never stuck with the same band if you don't want to. And all the bands work with all the other previous watches. So if you have a 42 um, original Apple Watch, you can use a 44 millimeter. Um, Apple Watch band on that watch and vice versa or if you have a 38 millimeter watch you can use that for uh, you can use that band on a 40 millimeter Apple Watch which is cool and it mainly comes down with the Nike watches is the app which you can download separately as well as the Nike um, band and watch faces so I'll throw up some pictures of what they look like here so, if you really want the Nike watch faces, it does make sense to go for it. Or if you just want the extra watch face options, as Apple does not allow you to separately get watch faces. Which is annoying how there's no, like, store for them yet, as you have to wait for them, or Apple, to release new ones. Which is okay, in my opinion, as usually I find one I like and I stick with that for a while. As it does last me up until the end of the year as they'll release new ones with the new updates at the end of the year like with watch os 7 they're releasing a few new ones which is pretty cool and they're also redoing some of them which is cool to see how they 
keep it updated and like to keep them up and all brand new looking like they've never been seen or used before which is pretty cool from the user side of it so that's why i always have gotten the nike ones and if you want to get a nike one you should do it over the regular one because it does make more sense to go for a nike than a regular and i'll talk to you in the next one peace